Well, I think that there are two open questions in CML to be addressed. The first one is maybe that can be reduced to a single one, which is the resistance of the CML cells, in particular the CML stem cells, uh, to the TKI therapy. In some cases, that this may be due to the presence of specific mutations, which can affect the, uh, I would say, uh, the, the function of the TK inhibitors that we are using. And that this mutation, as we know, are the, the most terrible one is the 359 mutation. We are, we are developing drugs which are able to overcome uh, this mutation. And uh, one is already in use, is ponatrim. One also is also in use in the United States, but uh, we hope that it will be registered soon uh, in, uh, in Europe too, is uh, the uh, ashimimib, which is linking a different portion of the BCR ribosome molecule. And um, of course, uh, what is very important is also to, um, in a certain sense, to, to have the possibility to uh, understand better, which is the the other mutations uh, which are conferring resistance uh, to the TKI. I mean uh, mutations not of the BCR ribosome, but mutations of other genes uh, that in addition to BCR ribosome may confer resistant, uh, resistance uh, to the... This is relevant for both, for patients in which it is mutated, uh, or sorry, resistant cells are relevant in terms of uh, quantity and uh, therefore we have patients who are resistant, resistant or um, in which the percentage is small, a mineral residual disease, but it doesn't, uh, this resistance doesn't allow to discontinue the therapy. So I would say that the problem of the resistance is uh, something that we still have to fully address.